Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so our topic for this video is the analysis of gravity dump. Okay, and we will solve this problem from from the November 2016 Civil Engineering Board exam. Okay, so let's start. Okay, the concrete dump of trapezoidal cross section as shown with T or the top is equal to 1 meter, B is equal to 4.3 meter, capital H is equal to 9 meter, and small letter H is equal to 6 meter. The weight of concrete is equal to 24 kilonewton per cubic meter. For the given conditions, evaluate the following. Number 1. The total hydrostatic force on the dam in kilonewton per meter length okay so the total hydrostatic force is here okay in diagram ito na siya okay the total hydrostatic force uh, on the dam in kilo newton per meter okay so this hydrostatic force is the resultant of pressure of this liquid okay and then uh, nakalagay dito per meter length. So, we will consider this dam in uh, per meter strip. Okay. So, kung ito yung length natin ng dam papunta rito, kukuha lang tayo ng 1 meter strip. Okay. So, uh, next, the number 2, the resisting moment of the dam to overturning in kilonewton meter per meter length of dam. Okay. So, due to this force okay magkakaroon ng moment dito okay and then uh, kailangan natin i-counter yon para hindi mag-overturning yung dam natin so uh, the counter the counter moment is uh, we will call it as resisting moment so this one since this force okay uh, magkakaroon ng clockwise rotation Okay, so from this from this point, magkakaroon siya ng clockwise rotation. Okay, so uh, the formula of the resisting moment is equal to the uh, summation moment of all uh, loads. This one, of for uh, counterclockwise load. Okay, so if this is clockwise, and then we will counter it by a counterclockwise load. Okay, next. Number three, factor of safety against sliding if the coefficient of friction between the supporting ground and concrete is 0 0.50. Okay. Again, due to this force, uh, due to this total hydrostatic force, okay, uh, magkakaroon ng sliding dito. Kasi ito, itutulak niya. Itutulak niya yung dam going to right. Okay. And then, pag tinulak niya, magkakaroon tayo ng friction dito. Friction between the supporting ground and the, this concrete. This is the supporting ground and this is the concrete. Okay? So, formula, kasi ang tinatanong niya dito is factor of safety. So, factor of safety is equal to the friction force over the total hydrostatic force. This one. Small letter F, it means uh, friction force. Okay? So, I think, uh, let's start to solve the number one. The total hydrostatic force in kilonewton per meter. Okay? So, this one, the total hydrostatic force. Okay? The total hydrostatic force is equal uh, to the uh, sum or this is the resultant of all pressure okay pressure from the water surface up to this uh, bottom part okay this is the uh, resultant okay ginawa lang siyang resultant to easily compute okay so and we all know that the uh, pressure is uh, zero at the zero at this water surface and uh, uniformly varies hanggang makuha itong maximum. And then the maximum pressure is 
this one okay and we will call that as row and and okay so kung meron tayong row meron tayong uh, h then we can now compute the total uh, hydrostatic force okay so what is the formula of the total hydrostatic force okay total hydrostatic force is rho which is this one multiplied by h this one over 2 kung napapansin natin this is an area of a triangle this one okay so rho this one multiplied by h this one and divided by 2 since area siya Okay, so the volume of this one, considering 1 meter straight, is the total hydrostatic force. Okay, so yung 1 meter dito is the uh, 1 meter strip. Okay, so pero uh, for this uh, scenario, kailangan muna natin compute yung rho, this one. Okay, so rho is equal to gamma h and gamma is equal to 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Okay, this is the unit weight of water and H is the uh, height of the water, this one. Okay, so uh, rho is equal to 58.86 kilonewton per meter square. So, the ang pressure natin dito sa baba is 58.86 uh, kilonewton per square meter. Okay? So, so meron na tayong value ng rho and meron na tayong value ng h which is the 6 meters. So, we can compute the total hydrostatic force. Okay? Substituting all the given values. Rho is equal to 58.86 multiplied by 6 over 2. 1 half this one. Since half of a rectangle then multiplied by 1 and the total hydrostatic force is 176.58 kilo newton. Okay, so I think na solve na natin yung number 1 and uh, let's now proceed to number 2. Okay, the resisting moment of dam to overturning in kilo newton meter per meter length of dam. Okay, so as mentioned kanina, meron nga tayong resisting moment dito. Ang purpose itong resisting moment na to is to counter the moment produced by this uh, hydrostatic force. This hydrostatic force produces a moment here. That will produce a moment at this point. Okay? So, due to this force, magkakaroon ng moment dito. And that one, the red one. Okay? And then, uh, due to that moment, magkaka uh, ma-overturn ang dam natin. So, kailangan natin ng resisting moment to make it in equilibrium. Okay. Yan. So, the formula of the uh, resisting moment is the summation of, uh, uh, of the summation forces uh, the summation moment of all forces uh, counterclockwise direction for this uh, for this scenario since ang um, force ang total hydrostatic force pin natin is uh, clockwise direction this one pag ganun siya iikot pag, pag ganun yung moment niya kasi dito yung mag, mag mo moment dito yung iikot pag ganun yung moment niya so kay uh, ikaka-counter natin siya ng resisting moment na uh, load na uh, pa counter clockwise so this one so yung load nitong dam na to pa counter clockwise Okay, so for this one, uh, resisting moment is equal to weight 1 uh, times D1 plus weight 2 times D2. Napapansin nyo, meron tayong weight 1 and weight 2. Okay, so ito na yon. Ito na kasi yung force natin. At, uh, para mas madaling compute, hatiin natin sa dalawa tong dam. Okay, we, we will compute this one. And then we will compute this one. Para makuha natin yung moment, um, yung centroidal uh, force nito. Kung saan yung uh, center of gravity nga. Okay? So, uh, sa, sa weight 1, ito yung ating weight 1. This, this, this part. Okay? So, let's compute the value of weight 1. 
Okay, weight 1 is the volume of concrete uh, multiplied by the unit weight of concrete. Okay, so volume of concrete, meron tayo, which is 9 multiplied by 1, then multiplied by 1 meter, the 1 meter strip. Okay, multiplied by the uh, unit weight of concrete, this one. Okay, so uh, weight 1 is equal to 216 kilo newton. And then, next, uh, proceed tayo sa weight 2. So, ang weight 2 natin is this, this one, the triangle. Okay, and then, uh, weight 2 is equal to volume of concrete multiplied by unit weight of concrete. But what is the volume of concrete? So, triangle to. Okay, so from the triangle, it is one half of the the height and width. This one, the 9 meters, the 3.3 meters, and the uh, 1 meter strip, this one. Okay, and then multiply it by the 24 kilonewton per cubic meter, the unit weight of concrete. And then weight 2 is equal to 356.4 kilo newton. Okay, so may value na tayo ng weight 2 and weight 1. Okay, so from this figure, makukuha natin ang D1. So, since ito ang weight 1 natin, and then dito ang overturning niya, i-compute natin yung moment R. So, D1 is equal to, so kung 1 meter to, so 0.5 yan mula dito. So, 3.3 multiplied by 0.5. Okay? And dito naman is this one from this one to this one ito wait to this dito hanggang dito and alam naman natin na ang triangle ang center of gravity niya is 2 third mula dito and 1 third from dito hanggang dito okay so since dito siya mag ma moment ang ang moment arm niya is 2 third of 3.3 uh, okay so substituting Weight 1 is 216 kN multiplied by the 3.3 plus 0.5. Ito nga, 0.5. So, weight 1 is 1. Okay, and then weight 2 is 356.4 kN multiplied by the 2 third of 3.3. So, this one. That is equal to 2 third of this one. Okay, so uh, resisting moment is equal to 1604.88 kilonewton meter. Okay, so this moment is 1604.88 kilonewton meter. Okay, so let's compute the factor of safety against sliding. The coefficient of friction between the supporting ground and concrete is 0 0.50. Okay, so due to this uh, total hydrostatic force, Okay, uh, due to sliding, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, uh, friction force, this one. Okay, and then friction force is equal to mu over n, where mu is equal to, ayun yung tinatawag natin, coefficient of friction, this one. And n is the normal weight. When we say normal, it is uh, perpendicular to the ground. Okay, so... Uh, let's compute the value of uh, friction kasi ito ang kailangan natin isolve the factor of safety and meron na tayo yung P which is this one hydrostatic force total hydrostatic force okay and uh, uh, kailangan na lang natin i-compute is the friction force okay substituting the given values mu is equal to what is N the normal weight which is equal to weight 1 plus weight 2 this one weight 1 and Weight 2. Okay, substituting the given values. So, mu is equal to 0.5 and weight 1 is 216 kN and 356.4 for the weight 2. So, friction force natin is 286.2 kN. Okay, so meron na tayong value. Okay, so factor of safety is equal to friction force over the total hydrostatic force this one total hydrostatic force and friction okay so uh, let's put it here 
the value of the friction. Lagay lang natin dito sa diagram natin. Okay? So, uh, for this one, substitute na natin. Value of friction force is 286.2 kN. And, uh, the value of the total hydrostatic force is this one. 176.58 kN. So, the, pre the factor of safety against sliding is 1.62. Okay? Kung mapapansin natin dito, ang, friction, ang total hydrostatic force natin, ito, is equal to 176. And then, ang friction force natin is 286.2. So, mas malaki yung uh, friction force natin. So, ibig sabihin, ito, si hydrostatic force, hindi niya kayang itulak si dam. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, I think na-solve natin lahat and let's have a recap. The total hydrostatic force on the dam in kilonewton per meter length. Okay? That's it. And uh, the, tot, the resisting moment of the dam to overturning in kilonewton per meter length of dam. Okay? which is equal to, resisting moment is equal to 1,604.88 kN. Okay? The last factor of safety against sliding is the coefficient of friction between the supporting ground and concrete is 0, 0.0. So, the factor of safety is equal to 1.64. Okay? And then, I think na-solve na natin lahat and... That's all for the topic for today. Okay, again, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the new uh, engineering tutorial video. Thank you and keep safe always, everyone.